Hello people, welcome to today's video and uh, unfortunately today you're gonna have to look at my pretty and handsome face as I got nothing to show you on the screen. So before we get started with today's topic which is are you a collector or an investor? Which as simple as it sounds, we're gonna try to address that and see why you should ask yourself whether you're a collector or an investor. I just wanted to give a, a big thank you for all of you who subscribed recently especially with the last video about 151 reprinting as well as how I make my plays with when it comes to singles. So big thank you and we're so close to 500 subs. If you enjoy the content and you want to smash that subscribe button, then I highly appreciate it. As well as big news, um, it looks like I'm starting to get some haters. Uh, on one of the last video I got a comment where it said that I talk like a three-year-old baby. Um, I was a bit confused, not quite sure it's an insult. Um, maybe, I don't know, the guy forgot the fact that English isn't my first language. Um, I mean, I, I just laugh at it, but uh, people told me that when I start to get haters, it means that I'm starting to get popular, which I'm obviously not, but uh, just something I wanted to tell you. Um, let's, let's call it the, the intro story to get you guys ready for the main thing. So. Are you a collector or an investor? Why is that important? So, when it comes to Pokemon, and I got here a Fusion Strike booster box. So when it comes to investing in Pokemon, this obviously could, will, and might carry a sentimental value. What do I mean by that? So, let's say this was the first booster box I bought back when I got into the hobby again. I'm just making that example. If that's the case, I'm gonna, I mean, 98%, I'm gonna bet it will carry to you a sentimental value because it's gonna be the first one. Why is that a problem? When it comes to investing, you need to be logical, you need to be rational. If you're not rational, if you're not logical, then you can't be investing. If this carries sentimental values, I might, and I most likely will, have a problem selling it in the future. Let's say I don't have a, an investment plan, which is one of the things I recommend in the when to sell your Pokemon investing video, which I, I'll leave you popping as, as usual on top of my face. One of the points I make in that video is have a plan, have a strategy. So let's say my strategy says that at five, let's say 100% gain, I sell my box, my single, whatever. Let's stick to booster boxes. If I have a sentimental value, if I have some sort of emotions, nostalgia perhaps is the best word for this product, for this item, then I might say, well, 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 it was the first one. I like it. It's minty. What if it goes higher? Um, I mean, look at it. It's pink. Who doesn't like pink? It has a Gengar in it. Um, I don't want to sell it. Well, that's a problem. That's a big problem. And another problem that I see a lot, and uh, the bigger problem is that many Pogetubers say this, is, well, if Pokemon goes to zero, I'll just have fun opening my investments. Now, if you put money for let's say it's much more common in the US, Canada, Australia um, to have, you know, to invest to then uh, have enough money for retirement as a, some sort of a of pension. Whereas, such as P here in Italy, it's not as common because there are other form of social security, which is in a way it's not private, it's public. So you need to contribute and it's compulsory towards your retirement. You just have to do it and it's not private. You're not investing in stocks. It just, you have to do it and it's taken out of your net paycheck. So again, get getting back to that point, I'm saying that because if you are in places such as US, Canada, Australia, the UK, I don't know, but where you put money aside, you invest money, let's say in the stock market, as a retirement vehicle. If that investment goes to zero, 
you're not going to say, oh, well, I just had fun doing it. You're literally screwed. If that's your retirement money, you're literally screwed. So you can say, yeah, I'm having fun. Now, I'm not saying put all your money into Pokemon. That's pretty stupid. We know diversification. Warren Buffett says diversification is a protection against ignorance. I heard some people saying, why would you diversify if Pokemon outperforms this and that? I'll make a video and actually show you that if you say Pokemon outperforms the S&P, you're cherry picking. But that, that's for another video. But if this goes to zero, now I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm 23. I have I actually have a, a pretty interesting percentage uh, allocated of my portfolio allocated to Pokemon. It, it's about... 30%, 40%, maybe 30, 40%. And, uh, but I'm 23. I am still a student. All the money that I get right now, it's, I mean, not all of them, but most of them goes to Pokemon. So if it goes to zero, I'm, I'll be fine with it. But I will have failed in terms of investment, not in terms of a person, not in terms of, you know, I fail in life, nothing, no, no, no su such thing. I will have failed in terms of this was my investment. I did something wrong. I miscalculated something. I messed up. So if you hear someone that says my investment, my Pokemon investments go to zero, uh, I'm fine with it. I have fun opening. Then the problem, I mean, I see two options. They don't understand what investing is. Or they're just a collector, they think they're investing, but they're a collector at heart, which is totally fine. Collectors need, need investors, investors need collectors. Prove me wrong, but that's how it works. So it's one of those two. Either you don't understand what investing is, or you're just a true collector at heart, which I respect that, but you gotta say, you gotta say, well, if my collection goes to zero, and that's a collection, it's not an investment, it's purely a collection that I do for the sole purpose of enjoying looking at it, opening it at some point in the future, so on and so forth. But if you say, well, this is my collection and it, it is an investment, it goes to zero, I'm fine with it, we have a problem, we have a big problem. You don't understand what investing is. I'm sorry to tell you, if you hear someone saying it and uh, you follow that person, I will start questioning whether or not they understand what investing is. And I give you the example. The S&P goes to zero tomorrow. You have all your money that you're not going to be smiling and say, oh, well, it's, I had fun doing it. You, I mean, if you think about 2008, you saw, you were seeing people crying because they lost their jobs. They lost their savings. You saw people crying, adults crying because they lost their money. If and those are investment, those, those were jobs. If your investment goes to zero, then we have a problem. Now, if you allocate it, as I hear many people saying, 5% of your portfolio to Pokemon and it goes to zero, you lost 5%, you're gonna be fine with it. If you're gonna get rich, which, I mean, we could be here talking for hours on can you get rich with Pokemon, but let's say you, you wanna attempt to get rich with Pokemon and rich is relative, it's not a number, so hundred dollars could be rich. You know, you're rich with hundred dollars. It's, it's, it's relative. It's not a, an objective term. It's rich. 5% is not going to be enough. I'm telling you, you need a, uh, I mean, if it, you need a lot, if you want to multiply your net worth by a large amount, then 5% allocating 5% to Pokemon is not going to get you rich. Now, now that being said, that's an issue that I wanted to address now. We could go into much more detail and again, it would take us hours. I could be here for hours. So if you want to know more, as well as if you want to know about the, when I said the S&P topics, does Pokemon actually outperform the S&P? If you want a video about it, please let me know down in the comments, as well as let me know what you think about today's video. Do you agree with me that people should understand and distinguish whether they're investors or collectors? As let's get real. If this goes to zero, if you're a collector, yes, you're gonna have fun opening. If you're investors, then you're gonna have a problem. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you see in the Discord. Link is down below, absolutely free. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.